Hello everyone, my name is JerryBR and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are on our way to see the commander. He, Akari, said he wants to see us. So, there you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you're wearing, wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Who are you two? Irida. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinu as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinu, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ah, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Heisu space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, O oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointless, vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost in all my Isino's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis? You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. For wasting time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Oh, he leaves the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Alright. Um. Yeah, I guess there's not. So you give hairstyle. Oh, I've already paid, so I guess we're getting it styled. This place is really fancy. For, uh, what are these options? That's probably not me. Uh, uh, yeah, so short. And I bet slate's the color I want too. Slate or black? I guess black. Oh, and then my eyebrows. Yeah. Thanks. Do I have to pay? Yeah, I don't really want anything. Thank you for dyeing my hair. Fetch you a hat? Yeah, I'll wear it. That was a waste of time. <laughs> and space. Uh, I can't believe it. General store is what I want. Uh, Alright, a hundred. None of these. Oh, I can sell stuff. Interesting. I could just make money crafting, farming, and crafting things. But we must see what the commander has for us. Oh yeah, there's also a mission board here. Some request, which one will you check? Bothersome Badoof. Badoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to from the Tsumugi and see if you can help set things. Right. That's it. Can I have any of these Pokemon yet? No. If I had to guess at some point he's going to give me the other two Pokemon. But that's mostly just wishful thinking. 
Splendid. You came along at the good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots, and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm. But I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. This thing would be the f for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Okay, you want a geodude? Um, where did, where did she go? You're Clarissa. She can have a geodude if I only knew where she was. Oh, she's not inside anymore. That's weird. What was she doing in here talking about pickles? Alright. Ah, the meaning of the mines. What do you intend to do about the clever Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Suno. Look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Clever is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, the two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Will the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Clever into such a violent frenzy. I was told he was struck by lightning. I'd like to know that for myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. I see you've arrived. This is Yerba, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha, I hear you from my you earned Wideer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. Ah, oh, what a cool nickname. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful, so just call me Adaman. Adaman, if you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I, I don't know. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study clever before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift rift to study clever this newcomer with no experience says the leader with almost no experience damn he's savage being a good leader isn't a matter of time it's a matter of embracing Haisu's vastness without fear mm, yeah well then there you have it if how new you are it doesn't matter let's give the kid his chance I'm so Commander. Let's try this your way. Awesome. So I'm gonna get to go to work after all. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folks really are. With all your weird ways. <sighs> Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. This whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Haisu vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. I mean, I think she's right. This is your mission now, Yegabra. I order you to study Clever and help us find the truth of this situation. 
sure. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the vast sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard, work yourself to the very bone. Well, that's settled. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Clevor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Alright. That was like 10 minutes. Oh, we're still going. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Haisu region. It's a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clan. Understand? Join me downstairs, Erebra. We'll cover the details. Ugh. I just want to play the Pokemons. What do you people have against the Pokemon? Is there any other... Okay, it's still just... Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. The briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So here, bro. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Clevor's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Clever is a mighty thing, not invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Clever when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're around. Alright, so I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Easy peasy, spleasy. Very well. Let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe that these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this clever. Makes sense to me. Here, bro. We need to speak to a few. Oh my god, again? Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. If you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have just been just swimming in its divine. Well, I've got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study clever. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We're just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole situation. Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Clever. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods? I'm sure they'd rather get his this under control too. It's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team of all people for help. The truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown in the same type of frenzy as Clever. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Haisu. That means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. Guy who's been here for two nights? Three nights? You'll find Clever at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon's a brilliant chi child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. I'll tell you all about his beloved Clever, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Can I play the game? Okay, f no. Oh, yeah, I saw 15 minutes. 
He certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. Suppose he really values his time. Adaman and Mai weren't wrong. You know, if you're to study and perhaps even quell Clever, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pasture too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. All right, finally, nothing else in this place. Oh, wait, I can fast travel. Um, oh wait, I can't fast travel from inside here. I guess that would. Yeah, that's what I thought. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come all across. Satchel always seeming fool. If that sounds like you, be wise to lend me your ear a moment. Hear what I have to say. That's, I, that's what I figured. It's gonna be a cutscene. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like. Yes. Fine. More kinds of items or just more of what I have? You see how many, much more you can fit by packing things better? If you want to be able to carry more things, there's more I can teach you. Okay. I have what I assume is plenty of money. You see how much? Yep. You can teach me more. How much am I gaining? If I'm gaining like one spot for each of these. Dude, how many spots, how many times can we do this? You can teach me more. Is it gonna be 600? Okay, now it's getting expensive. Is that it? Six, six is no way the... Oh my god, no. Maybe later. There are times when a single extra item can mean between life or death. Yeah, thanks for really selling it. Alright, so I did that like six times. I'm confused by this layout, like why that spot's blank, but... So what did he give me? Like, ten? I don't. Or did he give me these six spots? Well, I think I know how we can find out. And I really shouldn't waste my money on this. Now to see if what I've been spending money on what it is, what is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah okay so it's literally one extra spot well that's dumb and I probably spent way too much money on that at this point in the game um, yes. uh, there's a oh wait you're not who I wanted Pokemon called Cherim is in the evening. All of a sudden, Cherim's petals closed right up. Oh, why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works, or I, or was I the chain? All right, interesting. That's a new request. That's a new request. Where is my person who wants a Geodude? Okay, just head. Let's head. I'm running through your fields. Don't mind me. Oh, you here to give me a Geodude? Yes. Um. Ooh, that one's five, 
two. Yep, here you go. It really does look like a rock. But it's floating above your thing. Dude. People wanted my help with things, right? What's this guy want? So you have someone who enjoys crafting. You think you could help me out with something? Craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokey she dolls? Three logs of wood. Special items that we could make in the village. I would love to have you craft one. Alright. This should. This sounds straightforward. Alright. So. Oh, I don't have wood? I do not. Alright. I guess we're not doing that one right now. And the last new quest here, or request. All right, if Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an orange berry that, that then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corpse Boy. I was just headed out to the field lands to go gather tumblestones. I haven't got as many orange berries as I like. They restore some HP to Pokemon. They also distract wild Pokemon. I, I assume I have five. Okay, cool. I have ten. Happy to help. You're really nice for someone who fell this guy. Alright. Ooh, three revives. You do not understand the value of goods. Oh god, that giant cricket dude. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna take this guy on my team. I'd also like a Geo dude. But who do I not want? Shinx? Starly? Badoof? I don't really want him, actually. I'd much rather have a Geo dude doesn't even know any bug moves so like I can't use him on all the psychic Pokemon you know that are obviously in this first area I just remembered that I had a pre-order bonus mystery gift I think it's just some pokeballs if I remember right I think it's like 30. It's hard to tell. I don't rem have the slightest remembrance. Alright, fancy kimono, fancy ball. What? I thought I got Pokeballs. Or is that if you buy it from somewhere else? Well, I was paused to do that right before the exit. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught to good use. Either way, I have some super potions. I think nothing of it. Having the survey corps down about is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Alright, 100 HP. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Alright, cool. Thanks. Um, yeah, so... We'll start out at the Heights Camp, since that puts us just a little closer to where we ought to be. All right. Um. Oh, I can switch my Pokemon at you. That is probably helpful. Did I hit? Yes. shot. 
one and two. Missed, but he did not notice that I missed. <sighs> Don't worry. Oshawott's gonna annihilate this dude. Yes. If you can dodge. Woo! Wait. Oh. Pokeball him. I think he was looking back at me. Nice. I didn't know if I could clear that little gap or not. Some parasects down. Hmm. The stone that's moving. Is it one of them? Is that one of them there, Pokemon? Wait, is that parasect and alpha? Okay, yeah. Love sneaking around and throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon. Why was it moving? I don't know. I got a chunk of iron, so I think that's a very good thing. Oh, you guys are the evolved forms. Yeah. I doubt. Oh, that one worked. Okay, cool. I switched so magically the Pokeball in his hand switched to something beneficial. Oh, wait. Oh, awesome. I get to attack twice. Wait. Oh, Agile doesn't let me attack again. Dodge it. Darn. Yeah, so quick attacks kind of pointless here, right? Because, like, well, I guess maybe it has a quicker recharge. Yeah, that would make sense. It's the ultimate agile attack. really want it to be faster. Oh, it knocked him out. Alright. It's fine by me. Other than my Pokemon that's knocked out. Uh, revive. Oh yeah, I forgot that that only does half. 
and more book laws. Wait. Oop. We are back up to 25. You saw nothing. Right in the back. Yeah. I was gonna say, if you're gonna keep running. What? Coward. Got him. All right, Oshwat mastered a new move. Okay, it just disappeared at the last second there. Super awkward. Uh, oh yeah, so can I get wood from like any tree? Okay, Oshawa, you are adorable. You gonna hit it? Awesome. Wait. Right in the back. Where's that other one got away, didn't he? Oh, I caught the big one. Pokemon in here or something? Alright. I like that I was right. That makes me feel good about myself. Struggle bug. Eh. Gone. Stay in there. that I think I'm gonna have to end this episode right here because uh, yeah get me to a menu because I'm all out of time so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're also enjoying this Pokemon Legends Arceus as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye